Hi guys, it's Dom here from Esports News UK. Uh, today I'm joined by Fi, uh, well-known content creator in League of Legends. Thanks for joining us, Fi. Yeah. Welcome. Cool. And uh, so, Fi, you've been here, first of all, I61 with MSI, right? You've, tell us a bit about what you've been doing with those guys. Uh, so, yeah, I've been here Saturday, oh, no, wait, Sunday and Monday with MSI uh, on their booth as, like, a streamer for the event. So... Um, I've obviously got like a lot of hardware and laptops and, and everything around the booth um, and we have a League 1v1 tournament and stuff so they wanted some kind of league presence there I guess uh, but just like showing off the uh, equipment I guess a bit and having something a bit different rather than just like play yourself you can watch somebody else play as well. I think it's been good to see like brands and people that have the stands to actually engage in esports quite a bit you know is that good to see because some of them don't understand these sports still you know I think um, a lot of people is uh, the like world is kind of changing a little bit uh, it didn't used to be like this at all but I think now influencers obviously people are watching videos and streams a lot more so for people uh, who make hardware and gaming stuff it's a lot more like the way to connect to their audience is through us more yeah. uh, so the whole like way it works has kind of changed and I think they've just adapted really well so obviously you have a lot of people who are sponsored by MSI or, or other brands um, and that's kind of like their new marketing strategy but it's also beneficial for both sides like obviously it, the promotion works both ways and it's one of those things that like these partnerships actually build up to something a lot more over time I guess. Yeah. What was it like being a, a streamer? You know, we were chatting uh, before we were rolling this, and you know, you have an editor and you have a kind of a manager to help you do things. Streamers starting out don't have all that, but still, even though you have those things, it takes up a hell of a lot of time, right? And I don't think people yeah. maybe realise that. No, I think uh, obviously, like for me personally, I'm more of like a YouTuber, I guess, than a streamer. Um, but videos, like, can take you know, they take me like four to five hours maybe to get my side done and then my editor takes another four or five hours and obviously for like a, a five to ten minute video people assume it takes five to ten minutes because that's what they've watched right uh, but no it's a lot of skill involved like my editor is really good and spends a lot of time practicing as well to try and get better but it's um it's one of those things that when it's it's actually the easiest and best thing ever when you're not taking it seriously and when like I was at university it was just a, a fun thing to do but once it becomes your income and your job, it's uh, there's not as much fun in it anymore. It's actually work. Like it sounds strange when I'm like, oh yeah, sorry, I can't go drinking. I've got to work, which I'm just gonna edit a video or something. Yeah, but actually, yeah. when you're doing it seven days a week for like it's like ten hours a day, mm. I mean, when I first started like full time, I didn't have an editor, so I literally edited and made stuff like twelve day, uh, twelve hours a, a day, mm. seven days a week. Didn't have a life. It takes a lot to, to get bigger, but once you get there, it's worth it, I think. I think when I said streamer, I meant content creator. It's yeah, because I write sure. articles mainly. Yeah. I see everyone else as the video guys, as streamers, sort of YouTubers. Yeah, yeah. But it's interesting, with the YouTube, YouTube has been quite uh, a, a sort of area of contention recently because, uh, you know, it, it, they've changed the, um, uh, you know, how they uh, promote the videos and, and things like that. And, you know, it has to be political correct. How have, how have you seen that and has that been a challenge for you um so for me personally it's not that bad because i don't swear in videos and my stuff is very like edited down but the more gameplay focused stuff is a lot harder because you're trying to record reactions and stuff yeah. and if you want to talk about anything sensitive it's not gonna really work as well so it's one of those things where um for edited stuff it's not as bad but it is definitely changing like a lot on youtube right now and i guess for the next year nobody really knows what's going to happen at all um, but so far it hasn't hit me that bad and league in general isn't too bad either because riot let us do whatever we want with their ip so which is good but other games especially it's getting a lot worse so yeah we'll have yeah. to see like guessing twitch is going to become a much bigger thing soon because a lot of us don't want to have all our eggs in, in the youtube basket anymore just in case it does tank so yeah um what are your thoughts on the current sort of meta and do the, those meta shifts like really affect how much you enjoy your job you know do you have some metas where you like adc in 2017 low and all yeah, that yeah, you know for sure i mean yeah because you made a role normally you're known for something and earlier in the season when ad was rubbish it was awful like i didn't want to play league anymore so but i've still got to make videos about it mm. um but now ad is good again and i think like it depends what you play for but uh, if you enjoy it, if you have a reason to do it, 
um, then it's fine. But if you don't, then yeah, it becomes boring. Like I've been playing the game for seven years now and I get bored <laughs> quite a lot. I burn out sometimes, yeah. but that happens to everybody, I think. And it's, it's the same like with anyone else. It's just, it's also our job. So it mm -hmm. kind of saps a bit of fun out of that as well. But like meta shifts in general, I, I actually really like it because it changes the game a lot. Like it's not the same game I played two years ago. It won't be the same game like next year that I played this year. So fresh, yeah, it keeps it fresh. And obviously a lot of our content is based around that. Like I don't, I honestly don't think League would be big. Like I think it would be dead by now if they didn't patch it every two weeks mm. because the game changes. Everyone like stays up to date with content like because they got too lazy to read the patch notes themselves. and. I think like without that, honestly, League wouldn't be around because it would just be the same game. And so actually, it's it's a really good thing for the game. Yeah, definitely. Um, and I've got to ask, do you follow UK esports much? I know your brother knows a few of the yeah. players he jokes around with on Twitter and stuff. Or yeah. do you focus more on the you know general um, gameplay and content creation? So mostly content creation, I guess. Like uh, when I was a part of UK esports, it was mainly when I was just. Like actually good at the game like when oh, I used to it, yeah. for a, a little while um, like I played for London Conspiracy a little oh, bit yeah. like and um, had my own little like team for a while like, but this was when anybody could do it yeah, because yeah. it was so small you know it wasn't I wasn't that amazing at the game or anything but um, yeah we would play on like ESL tournaments online and stuff mm. just for fun but uh, so a lot of like Kasing and stuff I used to play against them in rank 5 so like FM and Infused so it's very different for me but I know a lot of the guys here now, uh, like through other people that I meet at these events, but I don't keep up to date with it as much anymore. Like it's actually, I don't have a lot of free time, I guess, um, but I try and, I guess I have a few friends who are players, um, like Deadly, for example, won the tournament earlier. Um, and I have, uh, most of my friends honestly are casters. I know most of the casters in the UK scene, so I follow the tournaments just because they're involved, yeah. I guess, if that makes sense. I hope you read really D-Sports News UK with it. Yeah, 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 of course. Sorry. <laughs> Did you play with Rifty when you were on London Conspiracy? Because um, no, it was before that, I think. It was before that. Yeah, okay. it was... Um, who was it with? It was, like, the old school team, and we weren't that amazing either, honestly. What elo were you back then? Uh, I was Diamond 1 before Master existed, and then we got Challenger and Ranked 5s. Cool, okay. But yeah, that was, I mean, that was a long time ago, so it's not anything comparable to now, really. Yeah. Where, where are you now? What's your ELO now? Uh, I'm Diamond 3 at the moment. Um, I've probably played more League in the last three weeks than in the last, like, two years, yeah. honestly. I've found that, like, drive again to, to get better. I feel like, honestly, like, it's hard to be a content creator if you don't enjoy the game. Mm. So I just stopped playing, but you lose touch with, like, what people want to see and how... Uh, to do stuff like my content's changed a lot in the past couple of months because I've started playing the game again. Mm. Sounds weird, but yeah, it's one of those things where if you don't enjoy it, you it shows a lot in your content. I think so. Definitely. How's your brother doing? Yeah, he's good. He's lazy, which is why he's not here. But yeah, I mean, he could have he got a lift here, but he's just lazy. But no, he's good. Uh, his channel is doing pretty well as well. He's like. Yeah keeping up with everything and changing a lot of stuff. I think a lot of people are trying like to change stuff a bit now. Mm. Um, YouTube's so competitive, everybody does it now. And uh, every streamer now has a YouTube channel as well. So like, it's not just Twitch and YouTube, it's mixed together, it's just content together now. So everybody has to kind of step their game up, which is cool. And everyone's getting editors and actually, I think it's honestly a lot better for people because we'll get better content out of it now when it's more competitive you can't get away with lazy content anymore yeah so yeah does it annoy you like people like me asking about your brother fox drop does it become an annoying really thing annoying. brothers or <laughs> no i think when i first started like i was known as his brother right. not like my own separate thing and that used to bug me yeah. but i think now that like i've established myself anyway yeah, it's like it's honestly just really cool being able to do uh something with him like we've always grown up together doing stuff like we played hockey together and uh, sports and hung out and stuff so like we're really good friends like we live in the same house we get under each other's toes a bit but we're good friends so um, when we do content together it's really funny all the time because we just mess around and it's honestly like it's just nice having him do it like I'm just proud that he's actually made a yeah. good go of it. The Riven Yasuo thing oh, you did yeah. with right that was really good that picture was incredible. Yeah, the picture was amazing that was Sadie she's honestly an amazing artist yeah. Uh, but yeah, it was really cool. It's, it's funny how um, they did the same thing, but for each different language. Mm. So actually it's the same artwork. 
just different faces. So she made the body really well, but then made it in a way that she could change the face and make it look like each person from like eight different people. It was kind of crazy how like how good that was. But yeah, that was a really fun event. Honestly, a lot of like our stuff we get thrown our way is because we're brothers and it's that unique angle that nobody else has got. Yeah. And even like when you're friends, you don't have the same chemistry as when you're brothers. Mm. So it's a positive thing, right? It's like a unique selling point in a way. Yeah, exactly. It's it's a lot for like sponsors or just like fans, I guess. Uh, they always enjoy watching us just because it is like a brothers just messing around together. Mm. It, it's honestly a really cool thing, and um, definitely glad. It's always I always get asked like, do you? I hate that he's like bigger than me or, or mm. I used to get asked that a lot when he was a lot bigger and it's like no it's just like if your brother is in the same field as you in a normal job but he's getting paid a lot more and like he's a, a lot more successful in it you're just like proud that he's doing it right rather than bitter about it it doesn't work that way really so it's just good and lastly are there any sort of things to look out for on your channel or anything you're working on any events um, honestly, I, I, I guess I'm not really sure what the next event will be. I'm guessing MCM. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try and do more uh, events. It'll be nice to get my face into my videos a lot more. I think I'm quite good at getting views on a video, but I'm not very good at people knowing who I actually am, I think, uh, which is the hardest part of YouTube, like actually having a personality. So that's the thing that I sucked at and I didn't bother with because I could get views without that. But now I'm trying to... Um, make people want to watch because it's me making the video if that makes sense so that's going to be the next step but that's going to be a long and hard process i think honestly but we'll see hopefully it works well thanks very much for your time is there anything else you want to add uh no thanks for having me check out esports you is it esports yeah, uk can, yeah. oh, oh, i got it wrong anyway <laughs> all right cheers bye no, thanks thanks right cheers